Hello there and welcome to Can Sanity. It's a beautiful day here in southern Ontario, 10 degrees. And so I thought I'd come outside and show you how to plant seeds in your cold frame. But before I do that, I want to take the time to tell you how to prepare your cold frame for planting in the spring, in the fall. What I do is I take all my peels and all my um, uh, eggshells and I put it in a compostable container. Uh, my container is a drum that you put your uh, vegetable peelings in and uh, your eggshells and you turn it every couple days and with the sun beating down on it, it degrades in time and it makes a nice compost. So in the fall, when all the plants are um, out of my cold frame, we put that compost in the, com in the cold frame and turn it over. And then in the spring what we do is I have a cousin who has a horse farm and they have a pile of three-year composted horse manure and so we just go and get some of that and add them to the cold frame in uh, the spring so that I'm ready to plant in March in my cold frame. So I just want to show you that uh, as you can see, the soil is a nice dark rich color from all the uh, nice organic matter that's been added to the soil. And uh, as you can see, I've already set up um, rows uh, marking where I'm going to plant my seeds. So what you do is you just pick up some sticks from around the yard, um, or uh, in this case what I did was I just took some old stakes and I broke them in half and I tied some uh, some uh, yarn that I had from an old sweater uh, that I had made years ago, um, a cotton yarn. So use what you have. In this case I used the cotton yarn but you can use kitchen twine or for those fishermen out there you can use a high test fishing uh, line as well. So today what I'm going to plant uh, because it's March, March 31st, um, and it's still quite cool. I'm, I'm planting the cool weather plants. That is plants that um, grow well in, in cooler weather. And so today what I'm going to plant is radishes, beets, leeks, turnips, and spinach. So I've already planted two rows of radishes. And um, the reason why I planted two rows of radishes is because radishes come up quickly and they mature in 24 days. And so you can um, get uh, a good harvest of um, uh, radishes early and uh, it's quite a rewarding vegetable to plant because it comes up so quick and you can actually harvest it so early. So I've done two rows. Now, when you set up your um, rows for planting, Consider what the plant, uh, what plant you're planting in that row, uh, and give the desired spacing that is needed. Um, some plants need more space, like in the back here. I'm going to be planting some turnip, and uh, they're a much bigger plant, so I'm I'm giving it a a, a good 10 inches between the next row of, of of plant. But radishes, however, are a smaller plant, and so. Um, I can actually put two rows in within four inches of each other and, uh, and, and so I'm maximizing the amount of uh, plants that I can put in this cold, front, cold frame by doing a little bit of planting um, before I start planting. So um, I've already planted my radishes. Um, I've put down my seeds for my beets. Beet seeds are, are a nice size seed so if you're um, thinking of having your children come out and help you in the garden and help you do your planting. I'd recommend picking up uh, some radish or beet seeds because they're a nice large seed. They're not going to uh, plant a lot of seeds in one part of the row. And um, they're easy to plant and so you, for beet seeds you plant them about every inch and don't worry too much if it's not exactly every inch because as they come up and uh, you see where the plants have um, actually germinated and started to, to grow, you can thin them then. So if you end up having them every half inch, you can thin them to the desired spacing after they've been up. So I'm just going to show you how I plant um, the, uh, how I, how I 
do the planting. So um, I'm going to plant leeks next in this row. So I just take my trowel and I just make a little trough. And for leek seeds, you want them to be planted a quarter inch to a half an inch in depth. And so um, don't worry too much if it's a little bit deeper because um, when you pat the soil over top and you water it, it's going to compact down a little bit anyways. And so you um, will probably end up having just a quarter inch to half inch in uh, uh, depth anyways. So these are planted, you know, about every inch as well. But, you know, I'm not too worried if I overseed because um, if I get more plants coming up, I'll just thin them um, to the desired spacing. So leeks are a fabulous vegetable to have and in your garden. And they, um, they really like to be planted in the cooler weather. So the earlier, once your soil is workable and your um, temperature is up, hovering around 10 degrees, it's, it's a perfect time to plant them. So I've put the seeds down. I have some beet seeds here and some leek seeds there. Um, what you do after you put your seeds down is you just gently push the soil over top, like that. And then pat it down. And then just take your watering can and just gently water over top like that. And you want to keep that this um, wet. Like once it dries, make sure you water it every couple days. Uh, once the plants are up, you can probably water them a little less frequently. So I want to talk a little bit about the positioning of this cold frame just to remind you that the position is important for sun exposure. I have this cold frame facing, uh, this direction is east, this is west. So the sun rises and goes over top of the cold frame in the west, giving me eight hours of sun sunshine on the cold frame. I do plant smaller plants at the front, my radishes, bigger plants at the back, my um, turnips, and that's because even though I have eight hours of beautiful sunshine over top of this cold frame, if I plant my smaller plants at the front when the sun is setting, they're still getting maximum um, the maximum amount of sunshine that this uh, cold frame will give it. If I was to plant my turnips at the front and my radishes right behind, as the sun is setting, the lower plants wouldn't get as much sun, sun, sunshine. And so to maximize the amount of sunshine, consider where you're planting your or putting your cold frame. So I think that's all I have to show you about or tell you about um, starting your seeds in your cold frame. Thank you for watching.